and I assume we're going to be having v, uh, Frozen playing the Pythra. Yep. And Vivi playing the Lucario. Yep. Pyra, Mithra, Lucario, uh, or potentially Hero. Lucario. Nope, going to be Lucario. But uh, yeah, not a matchup we would traditionally be seeing very often. That, of course, being that Vivi is one of the few high-level Lucarios. Um, but we're going to be seeing what the counterplay that Vivi can do to deal with the rushdown that Mithra provides. Lucario, not a character with great frame data, so we're going to see how Vivi responds. Yeah, not only that, but so Mithra has fantastic frame data, but struggles to kill until she just switches to Pyra. Normally, one of that, like, honestly, I feel like Vivi loves seeing those characters with good frame data that can't kill mm -hmm. if they have no other recourse, but Pythra <laughs> definitely does. Yeah, and I think um, once Pyre does come out, you're going to be see Oh, gosh. Okay. That move, however, still incredibly strong. And the uh, Pyre is indeed out. Uh, Frozen, very well known for trying to get those two frames with the down air. And Lucario certainly has a recovery that can be exploitable, uh, exploited with a large amount of disjoint. So Frozen's going to be looking for that very often. However, we are back to neutral, and Vivi is going to be an advantage. Pushing uh, Pyre Mithra to the corner is definitely great for Lucario. Um, being able to throw out those bigger hitboxes once you have Aura is definitely incredibly good uh, for Lucario. Yeah, I do want to just dwell on the fact that the way Frozen is playing neutral, especially with Mithra, is kind of just dashing back and forth outside of range, not throwing out moves, not trying to unleash a flurry of attacks, but instead just waiting for Vivi to push a button when he should not be. And, oh, as I say that, he switches to Pyra at mid-range, gets kind of punished for it, and now Vivi at 140%. Frozen was in the lead, but this is... Oh, ooh, and, I and that was beautiful by Vivi. The recognition there to spot out that move on the last hit to get a punish off still was a little bit slow on that, but an excellent job in recognition there. Frozen's going to keep that in mind, and that's going to be a side beam. That's going to take the stock. 140 aura on Lucario. That is not something that you scoff at. Yeah, and oh. it's the sort of thing where... Oh, I'm surprised he went for yeah. back throw there instead of up or down throw. I think maybe that was a bit of a misinput because yeah. he ended up not being able to... Uh, he got killed soon thereafter. Uh, and the one thing about Lucario is when you take hit, when he gets the first stock on you, it's just sort of like, oh no, if I get hit once, I take 60. But as soon as you kill him, all of a sudden, you know, he's just a low percent Lucario you don't really have to worry about. Right. And um, Lucario a low percent is one of those characters that really um, not only... Frankly, maybe the worst character in the game, um, in that the character doesn't really have a whole lot to take stocks, nor does the character really have a whole lot to um, force themselves in in neutral. However, Vivi's been doing an excellent job of stuffing out the approaches from uh, Frozen here. Uh, she's been doing a ni nice job with those disjoints. However, Lucario does have ever so slightly faster moves than, um, oh gosh, this advantage has been so dominant for Frozen. Oh, dodging the F tilt on the neutral getup. Frozen ah, trapped that ledge herself right now, but that rising revolt going to get him off the ledge. But oh, no. Yes, and that uppy has a significant amount of lag every time you land on the floor. Not as much as it used to be in previous games. However, uh, still enough for uh, Pyre to get over there and get that up tilt out in time, uh, allowing Frozen to take the lead in the second stock. And now this is the opposite situation of what we were talking about before, where now Lucario is at low percent, unable to kill a high percent character. However, this might be it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great, great punish. Knowing that he had the time to actually punish with a forward smash. So now we, ooh, we're getting into this point where there's still, you know, low, low percent Lucario might not have that much in terms of kill power. Still can combo pretty decently though, as we're seeing about 24% on Frozen. And I'm liking this neutral. I'm liking the fact that they're just spacing out around each other. Not, we haven't seen a hit land, but it's the kind of thing where every hit is micro pixels away from actually connecting. Finally, VV getting the first love tap in a while, but not able to convert that much off of it. Nice, and a solid mix there by uh, Frozen. She, for the entire game, has really been very cautious with how she's been getting off ledge, waiting long periods of time before clicking an option, but there does an immediate uh, get up attack to mix up Vivi. I love that uh, option coming out from her. And this is similar to the first stock we saw this game where Frozen has a pretty big lead, but now this is a high damage Lucario that she's facing down. Oh, gets around! I, that could have been a... I guess, well, because she's still mobile, could not go for a really meaty punish. But, oh, Vivi had, trying to find this hit. And it's not quite able to find it Ooh. just yet. And looking for a tech chase there. Vivi's certainly looking for that side B. Oh my gosh! That was out of out nowhere. Of, out of out of the drag down neutral air? Oh my gosh. Then he said, ah, you're gonna hit me with the button that's gonna drop?
I'm mashing. I, I'm mashing. And then he hits her. I, I need to take a Lost. look at this again. First of I all. Believe, like, the Nair dropped, I believe, right? That's what it looked like. Uh, it felt, I thought it was a drag down. Let, let's take a look here. Oh, no. He's dragged down with the Aura Sphere. Dash back. The Nair, not positive enough. And Frozen Dash right there. Yeah. Frozen dashes in, and that is what causes uh, Lucario to get the S-Mash off. I think a misinput there. Frozen was probably looking for something after the Nair. Normally, when you hit landing Nair's uh, Mithra, you're looking for a follow-up, or you're looking for some sort of tech chase. It might not have been a misinput, though, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, that, like, in that situation, why would you expect Vivi to throw out a forward smash? Yeah. I think possibly she wanted to get behind and then pressure from the other side of, the sh of, uh, of, the, of Vivi's uh, shield. Yeah. But... Nonetheless, that's going to be Vivi taking game one with that huge call out. And as we move into game two, what adjustments do you think Frozen really needs to make here if she wants to avoid the, what happened in that game yeah. one? Well, for, for what it was worth, Frozen had a huge lead going into that um, last stock. Um, and it really was just one single read by Vivi that kind of took it. I think Frozen's game plan was really solid in this matchup. Uh, and we're going to be seeing that continue. I think maybe some switches to Pyra um, once we do hit this middle percent, percent range. Forcing Lucario to the corners is really good. And Mithra, is a, or rather Pyra, is a great character at forcing you, at, uh, forcing you through the corners. Um, and once she, she has you there, she can start pressuring. However, Vivi... Doing a good job himself getting out of the corner with that uh, neutral beam. Cardio Flores here, a great uh, neutral tool. Ooh. Wow, and the range recognition by Vivi was so I, good. That, I... I'm not exactly sure what that neutral B was supposed to do from Frozen, but yeah, Vivi able to get down to the ground and punish, giving him a massive, massive lead here. Oh, again, going for back throw at lower percents. I think there's maybe something very specific that he's trying to find, but so far Frozen, through whatever it means, is avoiding the worst of it. Yeah, certainly some sort of mix-up or um, reset that Vivi's trying to go for there, uh, trying to put uh, Frozen in a situation where she might have to tech where she uh, might have to do a quick roll option to uh, not get hit by a Aura Sphere or by a large hitbox that Lucario throws out. Ooh, grab, nice. Looking for a jump there. Ooh, it doesn't cost that. Vivi. Oh, switches back to Mithra. I actually uh -oh. I missed that interesting choice. I think it actually worked out. Recognizing that now at that point, Vivi was at high enough percent yes. that, you know, some of Mithra's options were actually going to kill, in which case, yeah, play the character that has the better neutral. For sure. And we're seeing now um, Vivi is going into that defensive mode, making sure that Frozen has to come to him now. Ooh. Ooh, looking for Tetris there. Nice roll back by Frozen. Definitely wasn't anticipated by Vivi. Again with these forward smashes. Is that the exact same situation that we saw close out game one? Certainly incredibly I similar. I think that that was another drag down neutral and then punish the dash in. Okay. Oh, switching to Pyra. I like this. While the pressure is still on, possibly try to take a stock when it matters. And that's what we're seeing. The adaptation yeah. that I mentioned earlier. Of switching to Pyra at that mid percent range. Um, as opposed to... Um, as opposed to waiting for uh, Vivi to be at maybe what we would traditionally say is a higher percent. And right now, I think what we're seeing, honestly, is um, Frozen... Oh, yikes, that's, that's a death. That's the second time. That's That's been the second stock that Frozen's lost like that this game. Yeah, the neutral Bs have kind of been maybe misplaced by um, Frozen. They're just... It's very high commitment against a character like Lucario. Yeah. And th that time doesn't mess around with back throws. just goes up throw, uh, up air, and that's 30% right off the bat. And uh, one thing that Lucario certainly does have over Pyramithra is that air mobility. Lucario has excellent air mobility. A great little conversion there for Vivi in the corner now is Frozen. Oh! Yeah, so that, wait a minute. Down B doesn't have invincibility, I believe. Uh, well, no, it does, but just it's, it's small amount. Small amount, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, but it's, uh, so as we see right there, not enough to actually dodge the entirety of that hit. Yeah, and Oris here is a relatively slow projectile. And we're going to see Vivi covering a whole lot of options right here. Wait for it. Boom. That covered a lot right there. As you can see, air dodge forward would have gotten caught. Air dodge forward would have gotten caught there. Air dodge down or air dodge up probably just allows Vivi to get a follow-up. So if, if we air dodge down, Frozen's going to die. Swapping there was a nice option. And air dodge in place was also maybe a nice option. However, both of the options could have been covered by Vivi. By Vivi just going low and hitting those options. Did, did, they, uh, did she have a jump still? Uh, yeah, I believe. Frozen. So in that case, you could, in fact, 
go for a double jump in this situation. But at that point, once again, if you're VV, you now see your opponent uh, yeah. double jump, having to recover high like that, and still would be Pyro, let's who go, has let's much go, worse let's go air back speed. a little bit. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there still a jump on deck? I um, believe so, but. I believe it was a forward throw, right? Yeah. yeah so. Oh, I didn't even dwell on yeah. the fact that that killed at like 50. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cario with Aura. Oof. But yeah, yeah, really nice job overall there um, by uh, Vivi. And we're going to be seeing him move on into uh, winner semis. Meanwhile, Frozen, she is going to be down in the loser side of bracket. And